Creed was born in January of 2009. Right away, I could tell something was wrong. His eyes were still very gray. All he did was stare at light. Around six months, I took him for his first eye appointment. I was told that everything was fine with his eyes. He wouldn't look down when he was eating. He fell over everything. I brought him to a few other eye doctors who again told me nothing's wrong. I finally found a therapist that works with children with like dyslexia and depth perception. She worked with them one time and told me that we should go to Baskin Palmer to have his eyes checked for Lieber's. And that's where Dr. Lamb diagnosed him with Lieber's. In 2012, Creed received a clinical diagnosis of Lieber congenital amaurosis, or LCA. LCA is a rare eye disease that causes the cone and rod cells in the eyes to deteriorate. Many children born with this disease have little to no vision from birth, while others, like Creed, experience vision loss over time. It just was shocking to hear that after all these years of everyone telling you his eyes were okay, that actually he's legally blind. Getting a genetic diagnosis is a critical step for any rare inherited retinal disease. Sarah pursued and finally received the genetic diagnosis of RPE65 for her son. Definitely getting tested for the mutation is the way to go. I've met people that are in their 20s and 30s that say, well, I was diagnosed with Lieber's, but I still don't know my mutation. I wasn't going to do that with Creed. The day that uh, the email came across from Carver Lab and it said, your child has RP65, it was emotional on both ends. You know, oh my gosh, we can now get into this trial. Ah, he's still blind. I had been told by so many doctors and so many different people, he is fine. That's just a boy. That's just, leave that kid alone. He's going to grow out of that. That's just what kids do. In the fall of 2017, while Creed was settling into second grade, Sophia Sees Hope testified before the FDA advisory committee for the approval of the first genetic treatment to cure a genetic disease. That treatment was for LCA with the genetic mutation of RPE65. Two months later, the gene therapy was approved. It went to market in early 2018. Creed was one of the first children to be treated for LCA. He regained some vision just days following the first treatment. And for the first time, glasses made a difference. So when I finally found out that he was gonna have glasses, it meant everything. It, it almost felt like we had reached the finish line. He was so proud to get those glasses. I mean, he just loves them. Creed had always had two wishes. One was to see a rainbow in the sky. The other was to throw his cane in the lake. He asked me a few times, why did God give me these eyes? And that was tough, you know, that was hard to explain. And I just would tell him, God made you special so you could go out and show the world that you're still capable of doing so many things with or without vision. RPE65 is just one of more than 25 LCA gene mutations that cause vision loss in children and is the only one that is treatable today. Sophia Sees Hope is dedicated to supporting the LCA and rare retinal disease community by generating awareness, providing patient education and support, and raising funds for genetic testing and research to cure blindness. Our vision is that one day all children and adults with retinal disease will be able to receive treatment like Creed and can choose to live with sight. We hope you will join us.